Newly released body cam footage shows police questioning Bryant University's basketball coach in connection to a hit and run in North Smithfield. The footage shows the moments coach Jared Grasso learned he'd be charged with leaving the scene. 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera joins us live in studio now with the breakdown. Adriana. Well, Shannon, in this video, we can see damage to the right side of Grosso's car. The paint is scratched and a part of a door handle is missing. But he tells the officer he was the victim, saying his car was hit while parked outside of a restaurant. I'm here regarding a body cam footage from the North Smithfield Police Department showing an officer's exchanges with Bryant men's basketball coach Jared Grosso. It's all part of an investigation connected to a hit and run on Route 146 from October 1st. Grosso was charged with leaving the scene of an accident resulting in damage to a car. Yeah, we found this at Blackie's yesterday. I don't know what happened. I came out to my car and this is what it looked like. Who drove it there? I drove it there. The officer then tells Grosso someone identified his plates in connection with the Route 146 crash. Grosso interrupting the officer multiple times. But if, if someone's targeting me or doing something to my car in the parking lot of an establishment, like I've been followed a lot the last couple of days. Okay. Uh, After the officer repeatedly tries to explain yeah. the next steps. If there was a hit and run, I wanted to know where it was. Yes, and, yes, you can uh, go down to the North Smithfield Police wait, Department. Wait, you're in my house. Wait, wait, wait. Now, now this is getting a little different. Grosso demanding the body cam footage. You can go put a request in. I mean, I, I don't I mean, do the, I don't, I don't get the copies of things. My lawyers are pretty, uh, oh, that's fine. pretty strong. That's fine. You know this just got bad, right? Grosso's wife later asks him to go inside. Grosso later returning and denying he drove the damaged car at all on the day of the hit and run. That's not what you told me when I first talked to you. You, you told me you were driving this car. I was driving that car. Now, the university says Grosso is still on leave of absence and they continue an external investigation. A message to Grosso's attorney was not immediately released. Live in studio, I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News.